Hey students, Rich here. Today's video lesson is going to be about a specific component in the dryer, but it also applies to your home wiring. In home wiring, it's called a three-way switch. Its technical term is a single pole double throw switch. Hi students. Today, we're going to learn about one component in the dryer, the three-way switch. Let's go take a look. As you can see on the schematic, we're going to be looking at this three-way switch, which is the door switch. Notice you have neutral coming into that switch. We have line on this side, which we won't be dealing with at all. It doesn't involve the switch. So this is called a single pole double throw switch because it's not off or on. It's either one direction or the other. So when the door is closed, which it shows in the drawing here, the dryer can operate. Door closed, the dryer turns on. Door open, the dryer turns off, and the drum light comes on. The path is from neutral into the common of the switch, and it's either going to power the dryer to give neutral to the dryer, or it's going to give neutral to the drum lamp. It's an either or switch. Notice we have the incoming line from neutral is white, and if the dryer is operating, the line going out is blue. Let's see what that looks like on the machine. To look at that, we're gonna use our ohm setting on the meter. And I turned it to ohms, and notice it says M ohms. Push the select button, and we have ohms. And as a reminder, what when we have continuity, you'll hear that sound. And the reading on the meter will be somewhere around zero. So I'm going to go back to the drawing quickly. And we have from neutral on the plug to the door switch, to the common of the door switch, is white. So I'm taking my alligator lead. And remember when we're looking at the plug with the ground down, it's power on the right, neutral on the left. We're gonna be testing neutral, so I clip onto that. And also a reminder that the ribbed side of the wiring is neutral. So that's a neutral side and that's where we're connected. So neutral. So the next step is, if the door is closed, which it shows in this drawing, the switch is closed, the power is gonna come, not power, excuse me, neutral is gonna come out through this blue wire. So now I've got one of my leads in white, and the door switch is, is in the open position right now. I'm putting the second lead into the blue wire. And then we'll close the door. Now we have continuity. So the power is going in on the white wire to the switch. So we're connecting from white, and as it comes out of this Molex connector, it becomes a black wire. And that black wire is going to the center terminal of the switch, which is the common terminal. So from white up through the, the black wire it becomes to the center terminal. And if I put my meter lead there, we have continuity to the se second terminal. When the switch is in the closed position, the, 
the neutral is coming in through the center and going up to this blue switch connector, going out blue. But you'll see there's no continuity on the white wire that goes out to the lamp. So it's an either or situation. Door closed, power is coming out here through blue. Door open, neutral is going out through white to the lamp. So let's look at see how that applies to a switch that might be in your house. So here's a schematic diagram of a circuit for a light in say a hallway where you have a switch at one end and a switch at the other one and you can turn the light on or off from either of those. So here is the schematic diagram of our single pole double throw switch. We have common and then the power can go one way or go the other way. And this is that switch and you have And this is that switch, and you have common coming in, and then power going this way or this way. Notice, no on or off written on that switch because it could be either way. So also notice that the light in the hallway is connected to neutral without any switching at all. All of this switching is taking place on the line or the power side. So let's follow this through. Here's where these two switches are set right now. And if we follow a line into the common, cross this switch pole, through this wire that's connecting down the hallway, into the second switch, notice that's where there's a break. So the light will not be on. Again, follow it through from line, through this switch, connected to this wire, over to this switch, but that's where it stops. So I'm in the hallway, the light's off, and I want the light to come on. So I switch the light position. Schematically, I move the switch over to there. That's the switch position. Now, if I follow line, comes into common. Now the switch hasn't changed position. Into common, out one side through that wire. Now the switch is making contact back out through the common, voila, the light is on. Now I run down to the other side of the hall and I want to turn the light off. I switch the switch and now let's look at the pathway for line. From line through that switch out this side to the second switch and there's a break so the light is not on. And then I run down the hallway again and want to turn the light on from that end. I go down there, flip the switch, and now the pathway from line or power into the switch, across those closed terminals, into the second switch, down through common, and light. That's how a three-way switch works. And that's our lesson for today.